everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm going to be showing you all of my Louis Vuitton pieces that I have in my collection and I'm going to tell you how I would rank them as far as wear and tear because I have had all of them for at least a couple of years so I think that this will be a valuable video to kind of show you what the Louis Vuitton canvas is like specifically. I don't have anything of the emprunt leather. I do have a patent leather piece with the emprunt, but I don't actually have that like pebbled, beautiful leather that they've been really pushing as of late. But I do have a ton of canvas pieces and I want to just kind of rate each of them on a scale of one to 10. How I would rate them as far as their wear and tear and how long they've really held up. So I am going to get into the video right after I introduce myself here. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gal guide. I love to just come on here and talk about handbags and my blog has a couple of other things where I really talk about fashion and lifestyle. I'm going to be sharing a lot more things on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should find me there. I am at the gals guide. I will link it in the description box below. But thank you so much for clicking on this video. And thank you to my current subscribers for being here. I always appreciate your support. That being said, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with a small leather good. And this is my only Louis Vuitton wallet that I have. This is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. And I'm going to show you up close. You can see that the pink on the button is kind of coming off. That obviously right off the bat is going to tell you how I'm going to rate this. I don't like how that looks. The inside of the wallet is absolutely beautiful. It's this beautiful pink color. It's that rose ballerine that everybody loves. And it has Louis Vuitton here written in gold. And then it has just like one big pocket where I have like some just cards and stuff in here but it has this one big pocket and you can put like your money in there so I would say the interior has held up really nicely like this really nice epi leather in the rose ballerine has really held up there's no issues with the stitching like there's nothing anywhere that is kind of coming out or anything like that the zipper on the side is super smooth I love the zipper and I just have like change in here I haven't used this in a little bit I do prefer my Gucci my Gucci wallet is kind of like a card holder wallet. It's a little bit smaller to fit in everything. However, this is a really great compact wallet because it's small and it's also not super thick. So you can really get it into a lot of different bags, to be honest with you. I would say as far as the wear and tear, I would say the button on the front is probably the biggest sign that it's, you know, been worn. I've had this for about four years. So I would say this has held up really nicely. I would give this a 7 out of 10 just because I think the button, I probably should have gotten it in gold, but I thought the pink was just so cute and I wish that it would have held up more. It's not really something that I'm going to bring to the store to be repaired, but it would have been nice if it was a little bit better quality, like maybe glazed or something where it wasn't just going to kind of scratch off. It is kind of just painted over top of like a rough texture. So I would say this is a 7 out of 10 for wear and tear. This is a really great compact wallet. If you are looking for one, I will link it in the description box below. This next bag, I have had the longest. This is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici. And this bag is always going to be a 10 out of 10 in my book. This is one of my favorite bags in my collection. I would say it's probably my favorite Louis Vuitton bag that I own because it is so user-friendly. It's so functional for such a mini bag. And I do have it stuffed with the small leather goods in here. So these have held up super nicely. I don't have any tears really well. A little bit on this card holder, you can see down the center, there's a little bit of like tearing from where you put your cards. And that is a little, you know, that's going to happen if you use it a lot and you're putting things in and out. But I would say this is a really nice quality. Again, this is the epi leather in that like cranberry color. And this opens up to like a softer kind of leather in here. This is a really, really nice piece to be able to just slide in here and you can put it in so many other things. It is long, so if you're putting it in other like mini bags, it probably wouldn't fit for the length. But if you're putting it in anything that is very thin like this, this really works. So 
but I love that and I love this. I use this all the time. So this is the pouch. I put all of my lipsticks and lip glosses and mascara and all of those things in here. And this is just a really handy piece. This is held up really, really nicely. The only thing I will say is it is a little bit dirty on the zipper just from like pulling it, I would imagine but the zipper is super smooth. There's no issues with any cracking or anything anywhere. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this and I've had it for over five years. So absolutely love this. This bag obviously has held up beautifully. It's, you know, the monogram canvas. So uh, that's what you would expect for the price point. But this is really, really nice. And I would definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. I do have a second one. And that is the patent leather in the pink. Now my lights are really reflecting this. So it might be a little hard to see, but I will show you up close what this looks like. It has that beautiful engraved monogram if you can tell here and I haven't used this one as much this one is newer to me I got this in the last year so it's really not something I can totally rate on the wear and tear but the interior is that beautiful rose ballerine and it did come with the inserts which are awesome so same thing here I haven't used those ones as much but on the inside I mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with the pink I, I haven't used it a ton as I said so I wouldn't say that I can really give this a fair rating but I did want to show you that I do have this in my collection and my my thought so far is that the actual patent leather itself will hold up really nice it's really easy to wipe clean you know it's really shiny kind of soft i think patent leather is really nice because it doesn't get super dirty it's easier to clean and i will say i think the only thing on these bags that you would worry about getting ruined is the kind of gold button on this one I have very 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 minimal scratches on it where you wouldn't even really be able to see it if I showed you on camera now this one only has like one or two I did buy this pre-loved but this is a really good bag I think if you are looking for something that will last I think patent leather is a good way to go the next bag is a really great bag that I know that everybody loves and it is the Alma BB this bag I bought back in 2018 and I got this in New York City I bought it brand new and it was such a wonderful experience the essay was so sweet and really helped me make the decision I was kind of thinking about this one and the the Montaigne BB. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's the one that's open and it has the two top handles. And I really liked that one. However, it was more expensive than this one at the time when I had purchased this. This was $1,200 in the store. Now it has gone up in price significantly. I think it's about $1,500 on the website right now. And this has really been a very popular bag because the Alma shape has just been around for so many years. It's just a classic. So I think in the mini size, it really works on the silhouette of the body. The crossbody strap is not adjustable and it is in this coated canvas. So as far as wear and tear, this Damier canvas on in itself has not gotten any scratches, any marks. It's really held up very nicely. I would say the actual brown kind of canvas leather looking material on the bottom has gotten a little bit scratched. I'll try to show you up close if you can see. The handles have held up really, really nicely. There's, there's nothing on the handles at all. I would say the rest of the bag has held up really, really well. The only thing that is pretty bad in my opinion is the crossbody strap all right so on the crossbody strap i'm like zoomed in here you can kind of see that the there's some cracks on the strap itself it looks so crazy at that angle but i really feel like that shouldn't be happening out of this material because it's supposed to be really durable and you're supposed to be you know taking the safer option by getting this one instead of the leather because of the patina on those straps the leather can patina and then it doesn't look good and it gets watermarks all of that so I thought that I was making kind of a smarter choice by going with this one and I do feel like over time the more that I wear this this will be something that cracks completely where I would need to repair this or get a new strap so that is a little bit problematic to me however overall this bag has held up super super well and I have worn it quite a bit so I would give this bag an 8 out of 10.
for wear and tear. I think the strap thing really bothers me, but the bottom is really great too because it has the feet. You can see on the bottom, it is a little bit like kind of dirty just from like setting my bag down places. It's not scratched or anything, but this has really held up nicely aside from the strap, I would say. So be aware that the strap can crack and just be really careful with it. I would say that I'm I'm not super careful with this bag because it is canvas and I wouldn't have expected it to like crack like that to be honest with you. But I really love this. The gold is perfectly held up. It's really really nice. There's no scratches on the gold hardware anywhere. So I really love this bag and I think if you are looking for a canvas bag from Louis Vuitton, this is a really good one. And I will say the next bag is probably the greatest bag as far as wear and tear. This one is my Louis Vuitton Neo Noé and I say that it's the greatest one because I've thrown this bag around the most and I have stuffed this bag the most. I have put so much stuff in here including like a really heavy laptop, water bottle, lunch, like I've done so much to this bag and it is perfect. It's in absolutely perfect condition. It has the black leather strap. There's nothing on here at all. There's no like cracks or anything. The one thing that I would say is on the strap, there is some kind of stitching coming out of it. Stitching is kind of coming out if you can see that there. And so that's probably the only thing on this bag that I noticed when I was kind of looking it over is that there are some places that the stitching is coming out on the actual strap itself, which I don't love, I'll be honest. However, it is what it is. I've used this bag so much that, you know, things are going to happen to them as you use them. The thing about this one is there are no feet and the canvas is perfectly clean. There's nothing on it at all. What I love about having an all canvas bag is it is kind of weatherproof. So it's really nice if you live somewhere where it rains, it snows, and these bags can really stand the test of time in that sense. So another thing about this bag is it has the gold hardware everywhere. There are no scratches on the gold hardware anywhere. The strap here does get a little creasy. So when you pull it, as you pull the clasp on the front, it does kind of get a little wrinkly. I don't know if you can tell. I wouldn't say it's anything that's gonna rip or that would need to be repaired at all. It just looks a little bit worn. That's just kind of how you can tell that you've used the bag basically. The interior of the bag I have stuffed. So I have a ton of stuff in here to be honest, but I have like an insert in the one side and I have a few things in there, but the interior is this beautiful black felt kind of microfiber material and there's nothing on on it at all. This other side that I don't have the insert in, it's a little, it's got a few things on the very bottom of the bag just from using it so much, but it's really, really clean and it's really in good condition. I, I would give this a nine out of 10 overall because of how much that I've used it and put it through. And the only really thing is kind of the stitching coming off on the strap, on the actual shoulder strap. So other than that, I really love this bag. This is definitely probably the top contender in my collection. If I was gonna recommend one of my Louis Vuitton bags to you, I would recommend this one. I, I would recommend the Pochette Felici because of how much value you get for such a mini bag. But I think if you're gonna spend over a thousand dollars on a bag now, straight from Louis Vuitton, this one would be the one that I would pick because it fits so much and it's worth the price point for me. Like I think it's harder for me to spend a lot of money on smaller bags because it's a smaller bag, it's less material, you're not able to fit as much. Whereas this one is a pretty good size bag. Like I would say it's a bigger bag for me anyway, because I am really drawn to like crossbody bags, but this is such great value. I love the look of this bag as a bucket style. I love that you can use it for work. You can wear it casually. You could dress it up if you wanted to. I think it's a, it's worth the price point. But the Pochette Felici is always going to be kind of like my number one because of all the stuff that you get in it. So now that I've shown you my collection, I do want to talk about just two things that I am thinking about getting so that I can hear from you guys. Tell me if you have them. As far as wish list items go, Louis Vuitton hasn't really been on my radar just because they have been kind of doing a lot more less other things, but I do think that I would want to add two more things into my collection. The one thing that I've always wanted is the key clay. 
and I just never got it because honestly I don't really have a use for it but I really love it I think it's so cute would be really nice to kind of add to some of my purses like even on the Alma BB I've seen people like clip it to handle and just have it like hang off I think that that's really cute I really would want it in the Damier print so if you have it and you love it let me know in the comment section below if you think that it's worth it and the other thing that I really would want to get is a Damier print crossbody or shoulder bag that's bigger than the Alma BB and that maybe has some black leather on it too. So I don't know what that would be, but if you have any recommendations for me, leave that in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. So that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all clicking on this video, sticking around with me. If you love Louis Vuitton, you should definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And if you love luxury handbags, well, you're definitely in the right place. So don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.